Welcome back. At the end of the previous part, we had to fight Jin, and it was like, oh my god, I need to end this part here right, right now. And then I forgot, like, if I die, it'll just restart me near the battle, ready to go. So, we're ready to fight Jin now. I, d I don't think I've got much prep to do. Do I have... Do I actually have some stuff I can use here? Would be nice. So actually, like, like that, for instance. Be very nice to have. Oh, do you? Alright then. So, again, there. We'll go with that. I feel like that's going to run out during the fight, so... Just, just some stuff that gives us some kind of buff. It would be good. Like, that seems very good. Got any more? I suppose. Something good prepare for this fight. That's a very good one. Snowflake scarf. Got any more? Okay, so should be right there then. Okay, so should have a look at the affinities and stuff. Actually, while we're here, I think we're okay. We've got five and yeah, we can't do up any of those because these three is like I'm going to be using. So it's sort of like best check their affinities and stuff. Uh, 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 uh. That's a point. I haven't given you a new chip. That's something I should have done. What's the best one to give you, though? Probably that one, the polygon one. Hmm. See, this this I this is something I should have done. So what have you got anyway? Electric Super Strength Rampage. Okay. Okay. It's like I need to equip stuff here as well. Go with that, because it's sort of like, yeah, like we need someone to do something in terms of getting aggro. I'm not getting anything else. It's the only problem with using you. Because I've not sorted that yet. We'll still keep her around and stuff like that at, the, at this point. Maybe. Hmm. Hmm. What did I have? On the other one. On Dagas. Is, is Dagas like you you have, isn't it? Just double check. No, not you. Yeah, so if we take the ones off Dagas. Where am I going? There. Like, it's like, yeah, block rate, not great, but it's like, you know, it's better than nothing. Dagas, did I give you any more? I don't think I even sorted you completely, did I? No. That's fine, that's fine. Or maybe he only has two or something like that. I, I'm not sure, I'm not sure, I'm not sure. Right, so, anyway, let's actually get battling with you, I guess. Look okay. at me! Time to Behold take you my down. will! My I'll let you know if you start slapping. Empty moments! Where did he go? Not Damn you. Start. I was trying to topple you at that very moment. Get closer. Oh, there we go. Moving out. Gotcha. Rattling smart mission is everything. Just use now. For sure. The tide is spinning favorably. We lack the strength. Well done. Rolling swallow. Yeah. Oh, God damn it. He's quite strong. Do you feel like maybe we need a tank One around? Shot. That's the only issue. Let's take it. Gotcha. No, no, no. Yeah, it definitely feels like we need a tank, doesn't it? Weak to help anyone. Oh, we done? Oh. I prepared for nothing. With wounds like that, they're done for. It's their biggest weakness. Your struggle is pointless. My power gives me control over all elementary particles. Party what? Huh. This allows me to accelerate my body to the speed of light. 
No matter how far ahead you can predict, your movements themselves are limited. You are no match for me. Mitra! I'm still here. Rex, we have to slow him down. Match light speed with light speed. Got it. Okay. Here we go. Aegis's attacks are nothing but a stream of particle energy. The particles that form it are too heavy to truly reach light speed. The result is obvious. Oh, no. Mithra's attack didn't... Jin. It's over, boy. Ugh. Eat this! Of course. That's why you were at Banner's factory. You won't win so easily! <laughs> Lady Morag! Whoa. You're quite a looker from up close. Killing you will be such a waste. Let me go! You're a pig! S stop it! Ah! I'm surprised you're still breathing. Relax. You'll be able to rest after I've pried that core crystal from your chest. I won't die here. I have to reach Elysium. I have to find... The answers we're all looking for. <laughs> what answers? In this world, there are no answers. Ah! Uh, enough! I'm the one you want. Isn't that right? Leave them out of this. Aw, oh, look. What a touching scene. Are you going to beg for their lives? No mockery, Mick. This is serious business. Put the sword away, Jin. If not, I'll... You'll do what, exactly? I will... Annihilate myself. What? You need me alive, don't you, Melos? <laughs> you worked that much out, did you? Well done. But how would you make good on that threat? You don't have that kind of... Are you so sure about that? This is a shock. I didn't think you had it in you. What's going on? She's controlling Mithra's artifice herself. She's controlling Siren through sheer... 
willpower? Go ahead. I'll deflect it with my powers. Just like before. You could do that. If I use the particle cannon itself. But this is the targeting ray. It moves at the speed of light. And if I turn up the output just a little, that light alone has enough power to annihilate a single blade. You. One signal from me, and my body will be scoured from this world faster than you can blink. So, Jin? How unexpected. That you and Aegis would say something like that. So you'll do it. Open the gates to Elysium for us. Yes. If that is your wish. Don't, Hyra! They'll just... Uh! Jin? Very well. I'm really sorry, Rex. Uh, uh, Hira. But why? state of you. <sighs> you hadn't even noticed. Your own blade has been wounded so deeply, and all you can think of is yourself. Uh... You awakened the Aegis. I thought you might have been different, but you're just a fool, <sighs> a pitiful Childish. Fool. That could have gone better. Chapter 6. Wounds. Great. It was save, yes, but it's like, let's carry on. Yes, yes. So what do we do now? That's the question. Chapter 7. The fear she carries. Mm-hmm, 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 aha! I noticed something there. Three slots. What did I say? I said there was a third one.
This is is all, all shaping up to be what I suspect, isn't it? What the hell happened here? What is this darkness? See there, that's that shape is what was on whatever that thing was before, and there was three slots. So if there's going to be a third we don't know about, or well, my theory about the connection to the original Xenoblade is true. Praetor Amalthus. What is it? I have a report to make regarding the situation with the Aegis in Tanta. Please, come inside. Yes, your eminence. So, Jin finally has his hands on the Aegis. It seems the boy wasn't good for much after all. Unless he can find what is lost. Your eminence? Hector. Yes? Prepare the ceremony. At once, Praetor. What was that about? That's worrying. Unload? Do it already! It's a weird colour scheme going on at the moment. So where exactly are we though? Rex Rex, still sleeping? It two days now. His injuries were quite severe. The worst is over, but his body needs time to recover. He'd better get well soon, or... Rex? What's that? I'm leaving. But... where will you go? Good question. Can't live on Gramps anymore. Maybe... I'll head for Argentum. Rex, you... What the hell are you talking about, Argenta? What about Pyra? Do you know how desperate the situation is? Or have you finally lost it, you idiot? I know, okay? It's just... Just what? I'm done. Done? When I became the driver of the Aegis, her driver, I felt like I could do anything. But I was just kidding myself. All I've managed to do is hurt her. Again and again. So... I'm done. Oh, for crying out loud, Rex! She got herself caught to save you! I know. So what? 
So what? Those guys are way out of my league. I can't beat them. It's hopeless. I understand that now. She'll be safe with them. They're not going to hurt her like I do. So I'm leaving. <sighs> I've just been kidding myself all along. Me, a driver, in the end, salvaging is all. You bloody <laughs> idiot! I thought he died then. Hurts, yeah? But that pain's nothing compared to what Pyra must be feeling right now. She went with those bastards knowing full well how much you would hurt. For our sake, not us. I get it, I know. But what do you want me to do? I couldn't even slow him down. Even the artifice's attack couldn't touch him. What chance do I have against a guy like that? The more I fight, the more Pyra gets hurt. She'll be... Better off without me by her side. Do you actually mean that? Do you not have the slightest idea how it felt for her to leave you? With me here, he'll suffer even more, lose even more. So maybe... Maybe Rex is better off without me. Rex, and the whole world, they don't need me. That's just how it feels. Pyra thought you'd be better off if she was dead. Did you know that? She is planning to sacrifice herself to defeat them. Huh? You drove her to this, but here you are, giving up! You said you'd get Pyra to Elysium, didn't you? You'll eat your words just like that! Hey, Mum, Dad, it's been a while. A ton happened, you know? I became a driver. And this girl is Pyra. My new partner. I know you'd love her. We... We're going to Elysium, Pyra and me. I don't know what's coming next, but you'll be watching over us. Right, guys? Oh. Forget it. We'll rescue her on our own. This loser, he's not the Rex we joined up with. Let him go wherever the hell he wants. Come now. Let's not start fighting amongst... Let's give them a chance to work this out. Shall we? You know, I... Nia, quite right. Rex definitely not behaved like himself. Giving up after one loss? That not Rex I know at all. But... Now is not time for excuses! Oh, me! <gasps> but... Poppy? Poppy is hurt to see Rex like this. Poppy and Master Pun are not real Blade and Driver. So Poppy and Master Pun looked up to Rex lots. Rex worked very, very hard to get this far. When Rex tries hard, Poppy and Master Pun try hard. Rex like bullseye we aim for. Without Rex, we not know which way to go. So please, Rex cannot give up and stop here. Poppy. My prince? Chum. Huh? My old man wants to see you. Time to go. He got quite a beating there, didn't he? Oh, he's got Merc missions as well, isn't that... Yeah, it's not a very good chapter, this. In, t in terms of, like, emotion. It's, like, it's a good chapter so far. And don't get me wrong, it's that like, good in terms of story, 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 but it's sort of like a... Oh, oh dear, this does not feel nice, does it? 
I'll sort, I'll sort the merc groups in between the parts at some point, but I do need to do something with Rex, obviously. I need a third blade. Who do I have as my third blade? Veil? It's like I should really have a different kind of weapon. It's just like, ow. Ow. Don't want the tanky one. Let's <laughs> get Su Susana. Gotta get Susana. Hmm. I'm thinking, yeah, we'll just go with Veil. My blood boils. Oh, very well. Your blood boils. Um, let's also see. Um, I need to unequip the Cloud Sea King Rex because I do remember I was told when I get to Chapter Seven, do get rid of that, change it to something else, anything else. It's like I don't know what I want to change it to though. Boost luck, maybe. This is like. I, I like what I've got there. Hmm, that could be good. Critical hit rate during a chain attack 54. They're, they're exactly the same. Why do I have two? I don't know. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, it's essentially the same thing, isn't it? Just we go down to 35% rather than 60%. So it's like, we'll have that. And we'll go back to being the, the normal blue looking thing that we are at the moment. There we go. Back to normal with him. Right, so let's go see his dad and see what's going on. It, it's just sort of like, oh. Things are not good at all. Let's change you to someone else because you're like covering half the screen here. Ooh. That's a point, I've not sorted her crystal thingy doo dah thingy, what's it? I'm thinking that one. The Lance of Eden. I need to sort them as well. It's like, do I have... I can't do my healing thing, I can't do the, like, the, the crit stuff. The Mithra and Pyra. So it's like, we'll have that. It's like, hmm, may as well get that. I can't, can I? Yeah, because I can only have the, that, yeah. So it's like, can't set with the same effect. Hmm. What else did we have? Arts heal too. No, I want to go back up. There we go. It's like, just give me the chance to back up a bit further. Not really got much else halfway that we can use. What else did they have? Surely I gave them more than that. I don't know. I don't know, but that'll do for now. I'm assuming we're going to get it back at some point, otherwise... I don't know. I just don't know where the story's going to go now. It's like, caught all my theories and stuff with the overarching thing of, like, the entire game, but... The pirate stuff? I... I got nothing. Are you alright to be up and about? Yeah. I'm all healed up. Sincere apologies. If I hadn't attempted to destroy the Aegis, they would never have. If you'd done nothing, they'd have come for her anyway. You're not to blame, Your Majesty. It's... my fault. Five hundred years ago, this kingdom was rent in twain. Some followed Adam, who sought to live with blades and titans as equals. Others opposed him, preferring to consider humans as the masters and titans as our tools. When Adam returned to the Aether, his rivals seized power, leveraging the power of the Omega Fetter. They declared themselves the Tantalese Royal Dynasty. Claiming they were the hero Adam's descendants. Precisely. My ancestors merely used the name of the beloved Adam in order to win over the people. Hmm. Before long, we resolved to protect ourselves from meddlesome foreigners by descending deep into the Cloud Sea, taking the dirty secret of our family's lineage with us. The Praetorium, for their part, did not protest. Can you guess why? 
No. They offered to stay silent in exchange for a certain resource. An annual tribute comprising a fixed quantity of core chips. <gasps> I have something I wish to show you. What is it? It better be good. What is this? This is Gembo's ether flow. The Titan draws in the fabric of the Cloud Sea and uses it as a source of energy. This energy flows throughout the Titan's body in the form of ether. Refining and crystallizing this ether creates core chips. This process is what you see before you. So in other words, you're siphoning away a portion of the Titan's energy. Our cold climate and poor harvests, they are the unfortunate side effects of this process. I think I'm beginning to understand. Core chips are vital to every nation's military and energy policies. The Praetorium desired this power. How come? All rest at the time was in crisis. But for the Praetorium, it was a precious chance to expand their sphere of influence. So they messled in. As a result, Tantal fell into a chronic energy shortage. Then, well, you saw for yourselves. Near frozen earth, failing crops. The Tantalese people are forced to live in abject poverty. So why not just leave the Cloud Sea? Genbu can move, right? Just go somewhere warmer. They fear contact with other nations. Too afraid it might expose the truth behind the legends they spun about Adam. That would explain their isolationism. Indeed. That was five centuries ago. Now the Aegis has awakened. The Praetorium is demanding we hand over the Omega Feta. They are threatening to reveal our secret if we do not acquiesce. Indola? Threatening you? I get it now. That's what was in that letter. Enough was enough. I couldn't stand by and let the Tantalese people suffer any longer. Therefore, I made a decision. And that's why you... Yes. I knew there was a chance that the Praetorium would use the Aegis against us. But if I could neutralize her power, perhaps we would stand a chance of opposing them. And perhaps by saving my people from poverty, I could absolve the sins of my forefathers. You didn't think about using the Aegis's power yourself? Wielding such power is beyond my means. I am under no illusions. However, does the same apply to you? I felt something. When I looked in your eyes, I knew. Perhaps you are the one to whom we can entrust the Aegis's power. Father. In the end, it seems I only managed to make things worse. I can blame nothing but my own judgment. This tome records the deeds of the hero Adam. According to this, he saved the world from destruction using a white sword and then disappeared along with a red sword. White and red? It must mean Mithra and Pyrus swords. Whoever wrote this must have had a personal connection to Adam. And, most curiously, 
After Adam disappeared, the author of this book went looking for something. Something. The third Aegis sword. There's a third. Apparently, this sword was as transparent as diamond and gave off a clear, brilliant light. But Adam went his whole life without using the sword. In fact, he could not use it. What do you mean, couldn't? The sword was simply too powerful. Even he, the legendary hero, could not contain the power it commanded. And thus, fearing its power, he sealed it away somewhere. The author therefore surmised that this sword alone was the one true sword of the Aegis. Now, Rex, you were defeated by Jin. Doubtless that man is a powerful warrior. But even so, can this be right? Can the Aegis herself truly be outmatched by a single opposing blade? Would it not make more sense to presume that you lost because you have yet to unlock the true power of the Aegis? You mean... I'm the one who's been holding them back. Your Majesty, where is that sword? We have to... we have to find it somehow. We have to find that sword and rescue Pyro and Mithra. Regrettably, the book does not specify the sword's location. But there must be. However, reading between the lines, it seems the author suspected that the sword lies somewhere in Leftheria. It's not much, but that's where I would begin the search. In Leftheria. Are you ready? Huh? Are you ready to do what it takes to be their true driver? Gramps? Well, are you, Rex? Yes! Of course! I'm going to be the driver that Pyra and Mithra deserve. And then, I'm going to take them to Elysium. Then come with me. I'll show you the way. What are you going to show us, Gramps? My son. Yeah? I have a favor to ask of you as your king. Well, that's a first. Are you feeling okay, old man? Maybe you're coming down with something. The Aegis needs... No, rather the boy needs protection. You mean Rex? Yes. I saw something in that boy's eyes. A light that must never go out. <laughs> Steady on, old man. People will get the wrong idea. Fine. Leave it to me. Thank you. Nah, it's not like I wasn't going to go with him anyway. How did he end up with a son like Zeke? You really can't judge a book by its cover. Who'd have thought that sweet-looking girl would threaten to destroy herself? Didn't she realize taking her own life would mean the boy died too? Oh, she knew exactly what she was doing. 
The whole thing was a bluff then? No, not at all. The reason she gave her core crystal to the boy was to replace his heart after Jin put paid to it. An Aegis core encodes the blueprints for all life. She took advantage of that. Incredible. I had no idea such a thing was possible. Aegis's truly are a breed apart. Cores are constantly accumulating data about the outside world. The fact that their injuries are mirrored is a result of their twin cores exchanging information. If you wanted to be poetic about it, you could say that their very lives are intertwined. But there's nothing to stop her from severing that link. What do you mean? Before issuing the kill order to the Artifice, she would have transferred the remainder of her core to the boy. Letting him live on, heart complete. An Aegis can survive for a short time without a core crystal. Don't ask me why. It's just how we were made. See, I don't think the third blade is this third slot. Ah, uh, so that's the reason Jin agreed to her terms. He couldn't care less about the boy. But he wasn't about to lose this one. Simple as that. Hmm. There's a lot of information floating around in my head right now. I want a moment to talk about it. There we go. Come on, Rex, at the moment, and let's return to Fonset Village. Back to the village. I'll explain everything in detail once we get there. Just head to Fonset for now. Alright. Right, so... Yes, right, good. Right, so based on what's been said... This is how my theory stands at the moment. I don't think the third Aegis sword is actually another core crystal. Just the way they've been wording things, it's like they would have said like there's a third Aegis core. They would have said that, not sword. So I'm assuming that I, I like, again, potential spoilers for the original Zen Blade, blah, 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 you know. So, assuming based on what they've said, like you got that like thing with the three slots. There's three Aegis core crystals. Now my theory is like... One of them is going to be Alvis. I have that sense. And I feel like I've been backed up, sort of, by what we saw when we saw the third Aegis Sword, which I assume is the third level. That Like, the, the, the other idea I had where the third level, like, Rex is going to unlock the third tier of his Aegis Sword. Because I did notice it had a circle. It had a circle in its design just above the hilt. Now I know of other weapons that have a circle just above the hilt. The Monados. The Monados have that. That's when they activate like a symbol and then they can do all these special powers and stuff like that. So it's like... So is that his... Like Rex's Monado, essentially. Is that what it's going to be? So it's sort of like... I feel like both of my theories are sort of... Leading towards sort of like, yeah, I may be right in this regard on both of them. Because it was two competing theories, but now it's like, maybe they're actually both right. That is a possibility that I didn't really consider. Like, Rex could get his third sword, and there is a third core crystal, which is Alvis. Potentially. Or it could just be that there is a third Aegis and we go activate another core crystal that's another possibility as well but I'm just the way they've worded things is slightly different to how they've worded it in the past so I don't think that's the case but we shall see as we venture out towards Fonset Village in the next part so ta-ta for now